Hey there, Pathless Peddlers. Today we've got a special shop visit just for you guys. We are in Whitefish, Montana, and we're going to give you an exclusive look at the Whitefish Bike Retreat. You're going to want to stick around for this one, trust me. So stay tuned for After the Bumper. Hey there, everyone. We are here with Cricket, the owner and operator of the Whitefish uh, Bike Retreat. This place is amazing, first of all. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> so for someone that's never been here, how would you describe this place? Well, it's just what it is. It's a bike retreat and um, we cater to cyclists. Um, I'm a cyclist, so I built this place with what I would want if I was traveling on bike, cross country or just here to enjoy the um, the trails. Awesome. Can we get a tour of the place? Absolutely. Let's, right, go. let's go. Inside. What is this this beauty of a bike right here? This is my bike. <laughs> yeah, this is what I get to ride when I actually get to ride these days. Um, yeah. So I do a lot of bike packing and I set bikes up and this is just my personal setup. So it's moots, it's tied, it's got carbon rims. Um, this is one that I've raced on on the divide and then now I just I ride for fun. I don't race anymore. So yeah. So this is our lodge. Um, this used to be a barn when I bought the property, um, but now it's a lodge and it's got six rooms. 17 people can stay here, 15 beds. It's kind of hard to imagine this as a barn now because it looks so awesome inside. I know, right? But this was dirt floors <laughs> okay. and yep, second floor didn't exist. And then we took parts from that original barn and integrated it into this building. So like all the wood siding was actually the separation for the stalls. We just cleaned them up and re-put them on for walls. And then even the lights, um, they were in the stalls and I put them in my dishwasher and cleaned them up. And nice. <laughs> I had to buy like 10 more, you know, new ones, but because right. um, we added space. So this used to be a tack room, but now it's our kitchen. Um, we don't prepare meals here for our guests, but we do have coffee and we have our own custom blend of coffee from Montana Coffee Traders called Pedal Push. Yeah, this is just the kitchen. It's got everything you need. We get people from all different venues of cycling. So you might have someone that's touring the country riding on the northern tier or someone that's mountain biking, you might have someone here that has never even mountain biked before. Or they might be here with their kids. And they're all sitting around the table, they're having coffee in the morning, they're talking about their experiences. I remember a couple years ago, this one girl was like, what's the Great Divide route? And she was on it two years later. Oh, wow. Yeah. And yeah, one thing I really love about uh, this space is like all the kind of repurposed bike parts that, that you've used yeah. for decoration and for function. Yeah, so <laughs> when I first started building this, um, I wasn't really sure what I was doing. There was no grand plan, but I just wanted to integrate bike parts. And so the best way to do that, because I didn't have any budget and I can't buy bike parts, was to rummage through the trash behind Glacier Cyclery. <laughs> <laughs> and so I started rummaging through their trash and they were like, what are you doing? And um, they would give me the parts, but it was funny because I was like, I'm not really sure. I'm building a bike retreat. And they're like, well, what is that? And I'm like, I'm not really sure yet. Right. <laughs> but I'll let you know. Back here, like men's and women's shower. Yeah, so all these bike parts, like I said, did come out of the trash. Um, down to like the toilet paper holders. Old handlebar here, bar ends up here, pedal oh. cranks. <laughs> first started it, it was just me. So I'd clean, I'd do the shuttles, I'd take reservations. I did everything that first year. Wow. Almost yeah. killed myself. <laughs> <laughs> I did all reservations by hand with a pen, pen and paper. Um, and so now I have a lot of help. I have yeah. an amazing staff. So is this like Adventure Planning Center with all the maps? Yeah. We want people to come here, you know, have everything they need, get the advice they need on how to ride a trail, where to ride, what they're looking for specifically, and we can help them with that. And they don't waste time like trying to figure it out themselves. So this is the second floor and this is where the private rooms and the bunk rooms are? Yep, yep, six rooms, um, two with queen beds and the rest are twin beds. So this is like a private twin room. Mm -hmm. You could travel with your friend. Instead of uh, like chocolate mints on your bed pillow, you've got little uh, endurance uh, or electrolyte tabs. Yeah, so Hammer, again, <laughs> has donated all that to us and you know we've been able to put them on there for five years. So oh, this nice. is like another different room. So this gets rented out sometimes to a family or, um, you know, we can rent this out also as singles box, but mainly it's a private room. And You also have camping uh, on the property oh, as yeah. well. Yeah, we got great camping. So eight sites, very small, but an amazing bathhouse down there. If you haven't gone down there, we got to go see it. But if you're traveling alone, like you're traveling cross country, you just need a place to rest. 45 bucks, you get a bed. Oh, nice. People come here and they're like, this is not a hostel. This yeah. is very posh. And I'm like... I kind of built it with that in mind. I wanted it to be a surprise for people. I wanted people to come here and be comfortable and get what they wanted and kind of have a surprise. Like, whoa, I didn't expect that. Yeah, I really appreciate it. Like, you've got a, a range of prices. 
you know, so no matter like what kind of cyclist you are, there's a price point for you and you can be comfortable here. Absolutely. And then we have families that rent the whole place too, and you know, weddings and stuff like that. But um, I traveled so much over all the years, the past years, and people were just so overly friendly to me when you travel on a bike. And that's, I just wanted to give that back. And this was my way of doing that. And then back over here, we have the bike storage room. Okay. This is where people hang out in the summer. They hang out with the fire and then they hang out in here and they work on their bikes. Like we have this amazing tool thing that's pretty much supplied with by some of the local bike shops. Um, Glacier Cyclery and Great Northern Cycles are sponsors for us. And the money that they give us helps buy these tools and maintain these tools. If you can't fix your bike here, you need to go to a bike shop. <laughs> so you've got this great lodge facility, you've got camping, the bike repair uh, stand, but like probably the biggest asset are the trails and or the access to the trails. Oh yeah, the trails are amazing. I have 20 acres, almost 20 acres, and I have built trails on my property. Then we connect on to the Whitefish Trail, and that's right now about 35 miles, 40 miles of trail that you can access right out the back door. And the grand scheme of all that with the Whitefish, um, the city of Whitefish and the Legacy Partners for the Whitefish Trail is that it is going to encompass the entire lake. In the end, I think it's about 80, 85 miles of single track. Oh, wow. Yeah. Well, what gave you the idea to start this place? That's a complicated question. <laughs> Very complicated question. Um, I moved here for personal reasons, and then I raced the Tour Divide through here um, three times and I've toured the Tour Divide or the Great Divide route twice. And there's nowhere for cyclists to really stay back, you know, seven, eight years ago. When I moved here permanently, I was like, I want to build a place for cyclists to stay. And I thought about a hostel in town and I started looking at locations. And, and then I came out here and I just, cause it was my dream. I was like, I'd love to have a log cabin in Montana, <laughs> but I know I can't afford it. So I came out and looked at the property anyway. But then I heard, the cyclists on the Whitefish Trail, just out the back door here. And we were on the front porch and I asked the real estate agent, I was like, what is that? And he's like, oh, the Whitefish Trail, it's right there. And you could hear people laughing and the breaks. And, mm -hmm. and I went home and I thought about it and I was like, this is what I, I could live here, I can work here, I can build something here. And I don't know what it is yet, but it just, it stuck in my head and I couldn't get rid of it. I didn't really know, I didn't have a grand scheme. I just had this, feeling of the way I wanted people to feel when they were here. I wanted to take care of them. I want to take care of cyclists and help them. And that was that was my goal. So everything else kind of developed around that. I think I hung the last blind 15 minutes before I went to go pick up my first guest. Oh, wow. Who has been back four times every year. And he's coming, he's actually riding his bike from the East Coast to the West Coast this year. He's from Amsterdam. And so he's going to be here in August again. So what's been your the biggest challenge you've had to overcome like in, in operating the place? Probably my almost zero knowledge of business. <laughs> like I'm a geologist by trade and I know bikes and I know cyclists. What I didn't know was business and that's what I've been learning. We're five years, it gets, I think it's getting easier. It's, it was definitely like it was hard in the beginning but it was fun and then it kind of turned into more like it was really hard and challenging trying to figure out how to staff it and how to run it and do we want to grow a little bigger, do we not? Once I figured all that out, I think we're we're comfortable where we are, and our staff is amazing. We can take care of all our guests, and that's what we want. What, what's your next goals with the place? How do you see it changing or growing or staying the same or things that you'd add? What I do want to start doing is more teaching and education. And my big um, passion is bike packing. You know, to be honest, I, this place wouldn't be here if it wasn't for the Great Divide route, and I love teaching other people how to do it. I love teaching people how to have the confidence to do it on their own. So not really like taking them out and taking care of them like a traditional tour group, but educating them to do it on their own. What's the impression you want guests to come away with after they've stayed here? I just, I want people to be surprised, like I said in the beginning. Um, they don't know what to expect when they get here, and I hear it over and over again. They've come down and they're like, this place is just, does the pictures don't even do it justice. And that's what I love. And it's not just the pictures, it's also our it's the, the service. Like, we're going to help you. When you come, we're going to help you get what you need to do what you came here to do, and that's to ride. I just want them to go away with that feeling of just being completely at peace. Yeah. Well, sweet. Well, thank you so much for the tour. And uh, if you guys find yourself in Whitefish, or rather, you should make a trip specifically to Whitefish, Montana, and visit the Whitefish Bike Retreat. Uh, say hi to Cricket. So if you guys have any uh, questions about the Whitefish Bike Retreat, leave those in the comments below. If you like the video, uh, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and thanks for watching. Bye! Bye. <laughs>